Um, and so there's the rules there up on the screen. Um, and the, the, the really um, the big thing is blocking. But before we block, we're going to save everything that they've said if we know the person that's um, right. because that's our evidence. That's right. And, and I mean, long story short is we're not going to engage with the indirect link. Okay, just like for the direct bullying, Sherry Ann, shut me down. Bam, off she goes. She's walked away. Indirect bullying, don't you don't feed the trolls, you don't react, you you don't go you don't let the drama build. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then in the in the real world, um indirect bullying would be more rumors or gossip. Like if if Sherry Sherry Ann, like if her response to me, if I was to say to her, Oh, I heard that yesterday, I don't know you or something i could say yesterday you were um you were you had you jason murdered. over yesterday sorry what's that you had jason over yesterday and i That's think you right. really like jason you had jason over and and like he's your boyfriend now like i mean if i if i go look if i create some gossip there what's a potential good response for, for that sort of gossip i could wait and just hold on to it until i was in a group um just in a place where there were lots of people around and I was with a friend and I could say, oh my goodness, did you hear that everyone said that I was really interested in Jason? I can't believe people would think that. Where did they get that from? It's all about the delivery of that message though. If I am really aggravated about it and I'm loud and I'm over the top, people aren't going to respond. But if I do it in a really calm, collective way, where I sound a little bit surprised, a little bit shocked. Even if the rumor is true, 